Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the Icy Cinnamon channel. And as the title says, in this video, I'm going to take you through what my three guinea pigs eat in a day in a low calcium diet. No need for the long intro, let's just get straight into it. The first thing I do when I see the piggies mochi, coffee, and pancake is to give them a morning treat. It's also a good quick health check to see how they're doing and if the room is too hot or too cold. After that, I give mochi and coffee their supplements, which is potassium citrate that my pet prescribed to prevent calcium buildup, which makes bladder stones. Because I've already shown it to you guys how I syringe feed the potatoes in my other vlogs, and it's really hard to film this process, I'm just going to skip this part. Then of course, they're Timothy Hay. Guinea pigs need literally an unlimited amount of this. We've been giving Pancake Timothy hay for a while now because he's an adult. Pancake was born in December, so he's about 8 months old. Guinea pigs are considered adults turning at 6 months old. Give them a big piece of romaine lettuce as a good job for taking their supplements treat. At around noon, the veggies are running out, and as you can see, the container is also getting dirty. So I'm going to dump the leftover veggies out and cut some new ones for the next one to two days. We have romaine lettuce, celery, cauliflower, carrot, mini cucumber, and a mini yellow bell pepper. Make sure you really wash the vegetables because we don't know what pesticides or chemicals are in there. Next, I cut up the bad bits of the lettuce and cut it in half to fit the container. I might make a video about low calcium veggies you can feed to your guinea pigs. If that interests you, please let me know in the comments. If you guys have some particular videos you want me to make, let me know too. As you can see, I like to cut the veggies into smaller chunks for several reasons. First is I sometimes break it down into even smaller pieces just before feeding when I'm training the guinea pigs tricks. It shortens the time that they're eating. Maybe you can guess the second reason right now. We don't feed veggies for them in batches or in a bowl at a set time. We feel guilty we're not giving them treats every time we walk past the piggies, especially now that they're in the living room. They can see the fridge directly. So instead, we feed them the vegetables little by little every time. Is this approach really good? I don't think so, but that's what works in our home. Ladies and gentlemen, fours and zoes, I present to you a lettuce made for three spoiled potato shaped furballs. It looks like Hobby One's hay, so I'm going to refill it now. We just bought a new batch of Timothy hay from the farm yesterday, and the car is still full of the hay smell right now. Plus, we have three more giant bales of hay in the garage.
Later in the afternoon, sometimes I give the pinky star pellets. I say sometimes because my sister might feed it to them instead. We're trying out these KT Timothy Complete Guinea Pig Food Pellets. It says that it's for all ages from young to adult to senior. I give my piggies a quarter cup of pellets. The package says a quarter cup to a half a cup, but giving an eighth cup of pellets per piggy is generally recommended. And the potatoes have enough nutrients and vitamins, so I'm currently sticking to this portion. In the evening, I give the potatoes some more veggies. We have some cucumber and celery. At this time, there is usually a lot of poop because we clean the cages, or rather, playpen, in the morning. I'm sorry! My family already refilled some hay, so I don't have to. Besides, the guinea pigs will weak if they want more hay. It looks like the piggies are tired now. At this point, it's nighttime, around 9 or 10 p.m. So this is what I get if he's eaten in a day. Of course, the veggies will vary with what we have in the fridge. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please consider liking this video and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.